just a small presentation about Germany, some interesting information that you might not have known before. So this is about us, Cornerstone Academy of Languages, who we are and what we do. So we basically provide foreign language training, what we're doing for you, translation services, interpretation services, and subtitling services for movies and so on. And so when you speak about foreign language training, these are our various language training programs that we offer. Corporate training, universities program, study abroad, individual assistance, examination assistance, and Voyager program. Yeah, so this is it. Deutsch und Deutschland. Deutsch und Deutschland. Meaning? German and Germany. Hauptstadt Berlin. Hauptstadt is? Capital city Berlin. Amtssprache. Amtssprache. Sprache is language. Sprache is language. Sprache. Sprache is language. Sprache is language. Amtssprache means official language. Amtssprache. Amtssprache is official language. Okay, official language. Einwohner. Einwohner. Pop. Ein. Ein. Wohner. Wo. Uh, Einwohner. Einwohner is population. Population. Okay. And the pop population is? Huh? You can just pull a chair front wherever you want to. It's Aksish, sorry, yeah, 80.62 million. You see CA there, CA before, it's called Sirka. Sirka, Sirka means approximately. Approximately 80.62 million. Okay. Yeah. Bundeslender. Bundeslender states. There are 16 of them. Flesher. Flesher. Area. Area of the country. Area. Verung. 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 It's Verung. Euro. The currency is called Euro. We saw in the last class that EU is pronounced OI. Yes, so Euro. Euro. Regierungschef. 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 Chef means head or boss or head. Regierung is the government. Head of the government. So who is the head of the government? Her name is Angela Merkel. You see, Bundeskanzlerin. In India, we have a system, the head of the state, the president, the prime minister, they are, they are known to be there. In Germany, it's the chancellor. It's, the system is called federal republic. So, the, the head of the state is a chancellor. Yeah? So, head of the state is chancellor Angela Merkel. National fire tag. National fire tag. Fire tag. Holiday. Third October. National Fire Tag. National Fire Tag. Fire Tag. That is third October. It's called Tag der Deutschen Einheit. Tag der Deutschen Einheit. Day of German Unification. No, it, if, you, if you go back to history, Germany was in, split into two, East and West. So this was the day when it was unified. 
the fall of the Berlin Wall. Yes. <laughs> telephone four wall. Telephone code. The international country code is plus four nine. Four wall. Four wall. Telephone four wall. Four wall means code number. Code. Telephone. The telephone code. Yeah. And this is the flag. This is called wafer. Wafer is called an emblem. Emblem or the coat of arms, if perfect English, it's called coat of arms or emblem. Yeah, like how we wear, we have the our own emblem. This is yeah. This is the map. Land Carter. Land Carter means map. Landkarte Deutschland. Yeah. So Hamburg. You see Hamburg. So that's where I travel to. This is Berlin. This is Berlin. What are the other important cities? Munich. You see Munich. München. It's called München. That's another important city. Okay. Yeah. So, Deutschland und 16 Bundesländer. 16. So, on the left is the Bundesland. On the right, Hauptstadt. Hauptstadt. Okay. So, what are the states? Baden-Württemberg. Baden Württemberg Württemberg Baden Württemberg its capital city is Stuttgart you have Bayern capital city is München Berlin Berlin Brandenburg Potsdam Bremen Bremen Hamburg Hamburg Hessen Wiesbaden Hessen Wiesbaden Niedersachsen, Niedersachsen, Hanover, Hanover, Nordheim, Westfalen, Westfalen, Düsseldorf, Düsseldorf, Rhineland Pfalz, Rhineland Pfalz, Mainz, Mainz, Saarland, Saarbrücken, Sachsen, Dresden, Sachsen Anhalt, Magdeburg, Schleswig Holstein, Kiel, Kiel, Thuringen, Erfurt, Mecklenburg Vorpommern, Schwerin, Schwerin. This will be given to you along with the separate course material. So, all this thing that you see will be there. So, you don't have to worry much about it. Yes. Deutsch Sprachige Länder. Deutsch Sprachige Länder. German speaking countries. Okay. This will also be given to you. Don't worry about it. Okay. Deutschland Verkehrsmittel. Deutschland Verkehrsmittel. Verkehrsmittel. Any idea? Modes of transport. Modes of transport in Germany. Yeah? Öffentliche Verkehrsmittel. Öffentliche. Öffentliche. Öffentliche Verkehrsmittel. Verkehrsmittel. Meaning public transport. Public transport. So what do they have? Bus. Bus. Flug. Flug. Flight. 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 Aircraft. S-Bahn. S-Bahn means, uh, S-Bahn is your fast trains. It means Schnellbahn, meaning fast train. U-Bahn. U-Bahn means Unterbahn. Unterbahn is your underground tram, underground trains. 
अंडरग्राउंड ट्रेन स्त्रासन बांध एस एच एस यस स्त्रासन बांध स्त्रासन बांध इज द ट्रैम स्त्रासन मीन्स स्ट्रीट सो द ट्रेन दट गोज ऑन द स्ट्रीट इज अ ट्रैम वी कॉल इट अ ट्रैम एंड ई से ए E C A stands for Intercity Express. That's a super fast trains, super fast trains from one city to the other, Hamburg to Frankfurt, Hamburg to Berlin, all these things. Straßenbahn, tram, tram, tram. Verkehrsmittel in Hamburg. Verkehrs metal in Hamburg. Modes of transportation in Hamburg. That's where I've been. The entire transportation is owned and governed by a company called Ha Fau Fau. That's how the alphabet is. Ha Fau Fau. The full form will deal will deal with them later on. Okay. You have the normal bus, U-Bahn, and S-Bahn. Hamburg does not have trams. The airport flights, everything is there. Only the trams are not there. Okay. Yeah. Berühmte, berühmte Deutsche, Deutsche, berühmte Deutsche, Deutsche, meaning. Famous, not Dutch, Germans. Dutch belongs to Netherlands. Okay, they are Dutch. This is German. Berlin to Deutsche. Famous Germans. Okay, Michael. He is called Michael Schumacher. It's not Michael. It's Michael. Michael Schumacher. Karl Marx. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. His name is Johann Wolfgang. Goethe is the village where he came from. Of Johann Wolfgang of Goethe. Uh, older times, the Europeans also used whenever they, the, they along with their names, they also used to tell the state or city or village they come from. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe means Johann Wolfgang from. Goethe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, have you heard about Goethe Institute? Yeah. It's it's because of this person that they are called Goethe. Albert Einstein, we all know. Ludwig van Beethoven. Beethoven is a famous, famous, yeah, composer. He was deaf. And he made one of the best music that the world has ever heard. <laughs> Karl Benz. Karl Benz was the he was the founder of Mercedes Benz. He was the one who founded Mercedes Benz. Boris Becker, tennis player. We all know Boris Becker. Steffi Graf is another famous tennis player. Johann Sebastian Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach is again a famous composer. Michael Balak, again world famous. Michael Balak, Hans Zimmer, Hans Zimmer, Inception, Dark Knight, yeah, all all movies for Christopher Nolan, Inception, The Dark Knight trilogy, everything. Hans Zimmer again German. Uh, Angela Merkel. She, like we saw in the previous slide, she is the Bundeskanzlerin, the Chancellor, the Chancellor of Germany. She has been the she is the head of the government since the year 2005. She has won two elections. Yeah, some of the famous. We'll listen about. We'll see more and more famous people in due course of time. Berühmte Deutsche Marken. Marken, 
famous german brands brands marker is brand marker if it end with e marker that will be singular marken plural yeah berühmte deutsche marken marken or the first one b m v b m v we all know b m v mercedes benz mercedes benz mercedes so if you see someone saying mercedes benz correct them say mercedes benz porsche volkswagen volkswagen okay volkswagen the word volks is from latin meaning people wagen means vehicle people's vehicle have you seen the motto volkswagen das auto the car the car audi audi we all know audi adidas adidas is german puma yeah they have brothers adolf adidasla they were brothers the people who started they started as one company and then they split and then one started adidas the other one started puma nivia we all know nivia schwarzkopf schwarzkopf you would have seen it in you have you were you might have used it you would have seen it in salons all cosmetic beauty products shampoos uh, skin care products you see the word schwarz schwarz alone means black and cop means head and see the logo simple schwarz cop cop the p has to be pronounced cop yeah robert bosch another famous engineering company deutsche bank you are having some wonderful experiences with them as we speak siemens another engineering giant nor nor yes german brand dhl faber castell stationeries ha huh? stationeries bosch and lomb bosch and lomb optical lenses optical lenses vela vela is again a cosmetic company yeah so these are some world famous german brand stedler i i, I didn't have space that's why <laughs> there was no space but we will do it in further in further sessions you will come across more and more yeah so even here even in this list you see all of them are world famous all of them we have used dhl at some point of time in life nor how many ever times we have used i mean nobody has a count nivia we have used adidas puma you are wearing a puma coincidence yeah yeah so that's about it that's that's about the german thing Yeah. Knock in mal. This one. What is knock in mal? We did it in the previous session. Knock in mal. Once more. Knock in mal means once more. Yeah. Knock in mal. Yeah. You can. You should take down. You should take down. Knock in mal. knock ein mal yeah okay let's see some more yeah 
let's see some basic um, conversations how it's done okay just two or three for today yeah hello 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 yeah We get as inen. We get as inen. We get as inen. Inen. Yeah. Don't don't stress that edge too much. Inen. Simple. We get as inen. We get as inen. Any idea? How do you do? But the Europeans have a different way of asking. If you learnt French in school, the French people ask "Comment allez-vous?" Like when the Germans ask, "We get the scene," meaning, "How's it going with you?" That's the literal meaning of it. But for understanding, we can take it to be "How are you?" No harm in it. Okay? We get the scene. Yeah. So the answer to it would be. The answer to it would be. Mir get as good, good. Mir get as good. Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm good. Okay. Again, Europeans, Germans, very courteous people. You have to tell them this is not the end of the sentence. No. Danke. Thank you. Mir geht es gut. Danke. Danke. Mir geht es gut. Danke. I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you. And again, the onus is on you to ask the same question to that person. I'm asking you, wie geht es Ihnen? You reply, Mir geht es gut. Danke. You ask me back the same question. No, not necessarily the entire thing. You can just say. Und Ihnen and you. Und Ihnen and you. So the answer to it would be. The answer to it would be. Auch gut. Auch individually means also. So this total in totality it means I'm also good. I'm also fine. Auch gut. Danke. Auch gut. Danke. Yeah. Hello. We get a scene in. Mir get is good. Danke. Und Ihnen. Auch gut. Auk. Auk gut. Danke. Yeah. The next question we're going to see is. V heisen Z. V heisen Z. Any idea? What's your name? Again, again, there's a European way of asking this. The Europeans, the Germans, as such, they don't ask, "What's your name?" They ask, "How are you called?" How are you called? Individually, we is how. We means how. Hyson is to be called. 
hyphen to be called Z is U. Z is U. And remember, this S has to be in caps. Why? I'll tell you later. That is because if you change the tense to lower case, the entire meaning changes. Okay? So be careful. When the S is in caps, it has to be in caps. Okay? V hyphen Z. V hyphen Z. So my answer to it would be Ish Haisa Yeah Ish Haisa Simple Yeah V Haisa Z Ish Yeah Woher common Z? Woher common Z? Where do you come from? Where do you come from? Woher common Z? Woher common Z? Individually, woher means where from. Woher means where from. Common is to come. And Z is you. Okay, again, again, S, very important. Woher common Z? So, my answer to it would be, mm -hmm. Ish koma aus, let's say for, for now, yes, woher common Z? Ish koma aus chenai. I come from yeah that's it. go ahead comment the ish comma aus Chennai okay so and one more question one more simple question that we can do today wo wonen Z. This is in caps. Wo wohn in Z. Where do you live? Wo wohn in Z. Wo individually, wo is where. Wo here is where from, wo is where. Wohn in to live. Z is wo wohn in Z. Ish Wona Wona Huh In is it Ish Wona in whichever place you live in Okay Wo Wona in Z Ish Wona in wherever Ish Wona in Harrington Road Ish Wona in Alwar wherever wherever Yeah So what is V? How? How? What is Woher? Where from? And Wo? Where? Okay? Very important. Yeah? Very, very important. Yeah? V hyphen Z ish hyphen Vivek. Yeah. You can also pronounce this one as ik. No harm. It's acceptable. Okay. V hyphen Z ik hyphen Vivek or ish hyphen. So, woher common Z? Woher common Z? Ik koma ost or ish koma ost chennai. Wo born in Z. Bovonanzi is born in wherever, whichever locality you live in. Okay?
So wie geht es Ihnen? Mir geht es gut. Danke. Danke. Mir geht es gut. Danke. Und Ihnen? And you? Auch gut. Gut. Auch gut. Danke. Auch gut. Danke. Auch. K. 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 Auch gut. Danke. Danke. Ja? Yeah?